Welcome to another episode of the Tidwell Taste Tour, everyone. I welcome you back, they welcome you back, and we're happy to be here. I should you. be wearing my Gluten Drop shirt. I can't believe you still have that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's in the closet. You know, I have, I have one, too. Uh, yeah, I was looking so, in my closet the other day, and I saw it. Without further ado, in that case, this is the Golden Drock Ale. I believe that means Golden Dragon. I would yeah. imagine. Yeah. Uh, right. Product of Belgium. It's 10.5% alcohol by volume. Oh, yeah. It's from the Global Beer uh, Network, uh, the, the Van Steenberg Brewery type stuff. Uh, it says here, yeah, brewed and bottled by Van Steenberg, Ertveld, uh, imported in Middleton, Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. That is the town over from where I live. There you go. Oh, well, my cool. parents it's, live. It's, it's over from Reston? I didn't. My parents <laughs> where my parents live. Oh, whoop, I gave away your location. Oh, boy. People are going to be knocking down the door. Yep. yep. There's only one person in Reston. <laughs> <laughs> and it's us. <laughs> <laughs> it's us. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you checked your P.O. box lately, by the way? I, I thought that was going a totally different direction. <laughs> <laughs> Have you checked your, when as soon as I heard P, I was like, P? Where is this going to go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, okay. I've just gotten a, I gotten a few. Okay. Returns. I wasn't uh, sure if anything came back. Mm -hmm. Kind of an odd time to bring it up. Yeah, no. I just, well, <laughs> because, okay. well, because I was thinking Reston, like, oh, would people know, like, our address in Reston from your mail, but I remember that you got a P.O. box, the whole thing. But it's in it's Reston. Viral, but regardless, yeah. yeah, they don't know my address. No, no. yeah. yeah let's not give that away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't dox it. me on, on, on camera, please. Ooh. That's oh, nice. man. Mm. Just as good as I remember it. Mm. God damn. Mm. That is so good. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Oh boy. What is that classified as? The triple? It's no, it's no. a quad. It's a quad. Well, huh? I don't know if it's technically a quad, but I that's just a strong dark ale. A strong dark ale. See see the quads mm. and strong dark ales kind of the same run thing. kind of yeah, yeah, they run kind of same thing. I don't I don't exactly I think what they classify it as is a strong right here. I don't think they say exactly. drop quad. Exactly. But to me, the flavor of this would be similar to the St. Bernardus 12, the Chimay Blue. Sure. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those kind yeah. of like figgy sure. multi sure. That makes sense. I mean, this is not as much my thing as is it is like your thing. That's delicious. But uh, oh. I, st I would say it's still like an eight and a half. For oh, me. man. Yeah, that's really good. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a. Ooh, yeah. I'm up there, man. Um, Golden Drop's great. The, the, the flavors of it are everything you want out of, like like we just said, the, the quad styles with the figs and the sort of just the rich, malty mm -hmm. character of it. Um, slightly chocolatey, but not much. Not like a porter or stout for the most part. Um, really, really tasty. Very good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rate it... Uh, <sighs> I'm teetering. I, I, you, you go. Um, for me, Golden Drock. Oh boy. Here's here's my issue with this type of shit. Is that I respect it more than things I've given higher ratings. But at the same time, I know time, exactly what you mean. But at the same time, I'm just going at it from my perspective of what. Um, because there there are things in this category that I probably would drink before this, but I I think this is a great beer. It's not an everyday drinker for sure. S certainly not. I think uh, for me, I'm gonna uh, I'll give Golden Drock and I'm gonna give it one more. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a nine. I'll give it an eight and a half. It's very very and th and that's. Mostly just preference because if this is right in your wheelhouse, I mean, I, there's nothing wrong with it. No, you know no, what I'm saying. Now I think eight, an eight and a half for me is a very high yeah. rating. I think of a similar style. I'd probably take the Saint Bernardus. With that said, this is very, very good. It's, yeah. a, it's a very good take on the style. Yes, so, agree. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't know how, what else no, to say I, I know. What, I know what you're getting at. It's 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 hard. It's hard rating these because there's there's a certain expectation level there that isn't there with some things. Right. And you just know off the bat this should be good. If it's just bad, you're gonna give this even a lower rating than you would something right. else. That if we if bad. we were drinking this and it's like this uh, strong dark ale from a brewery in Virginia or whatever, right. I'd be like, whoa, ten, what nine and a half. Whatever. And, I agree. And that that is why I do like the idea of some blind yes. tasting stuff that, that we've talked about doing and we read 
I we're trying to do a little bit of. Um, obviously, we can't do everything like that, but I think that's why that's good is because it takes away the aspect yeah. of expectation. Um, which who knows what I would have said about the like Sam pumpkin beer yeah, or whatever, yeah. whatever else, yeah. if there's no expectation put on it. I feel good. like we should do another taste, another blind taste thing next. Okay. Perhaps we should do that. Well, we can figure it out. Oh, I brought some stuff for blind taste. We'll, we'll discuss okay. it. Okay. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Golden Drock Ale. I gave it a nine. She gave it a nine and a half. They both gave it an eight and eight and a halves. Is that how you say that? I don't even know. This is the Golden Drock Ale, ten and a half. Uh, percent alcohol. It's from Belgium. It's from the Van Steenberg set. Check it out. GlobalBeerNetwork.com, I believe, or VanSteenberg.com. We'll be back.